Hello everyone, this is Oliver from NEO and today we are going to talk about the tasting of two Yabukita uh, matchas which are coming from two different farmers, one farmer in the region of Shizuoka, so two hours south of, uh, Kago uh, of Tio Tokyo and we're going to talk about uh, a matcha which we already have in our assortment and that's the matcha sesui, both from the same cultivar but let's have a look how the taste of these two matchas is and how they actually um, um, coming from the same cultivar so from the same type of green tea plant um, let's have a look how taste can vary between these two matchas good so what do we need uh, as a first step what i uh, will do is uh, the first matcha so i have brought the sample pack of uh, the matcha sesui uh, which is here um, with me and i'm gonna just take a half of a coffee spoon of this matcha here just open open it up properly and then we're gonna brew it good Important when you do a matcha is always the sifter, so always sift your matcha even uh, when the package is just open and the green tea couldn't yet uh, absorb any. Any humidity, it's always good to sift the matcha. So you take a half of uh, half a coffee spoon, a little take a little bit more like this. So then we're gonna sift this through the sift you can take a spoon if you have a matcha matcha um, bamboo spoon even better I took here now a normal spoon just sift it through and the beautiful green powder will be very fine the end of this good and then what you get is really this fine fine um, green matcha powder um, very very fine and you will have no crumbs in your matcha so we're gonna add around 100 milliliters of water these are a little bit more than three oz and three ounces and we're gonna just sift it properly good so important is that you get a very beautiful foam and this we have done here so you get a very wonderful foam with this matcha here and you can see We have a real proper matcha. So this is number one. I just put it here. Now let's go to the second one. So this is a matcha which I received. Also a Yabukita first quality matcha. I'm just gonna show you also uh, how the matcha looks like. So this one is this one here, and here we got the other one. So this uh, matcha, this matcha is from a collaborative of different farmers, young farmers, and here you can really see. So just in comparison, the two matchas they look very very similar, both with a very beautiful bright green uh, color so a very good and high quality matcha on both ends and they're very very similar in color so same cultivar just different regions so color doesn't change between uh, the two the two regions now let's have a look um, let's take some matcha here this one here and just try it out 
also sifting newly opened they're also from the both from the same year so we are here now in uh, april two, 2019 these two um, cultivars um, are, have been harvested last year so in uh, april may 2018 so also the year is the same so we really have a fair comparison of these two matchas and uh, now i'm curious to see how this one will be so just pour in as well the water for the matcha and we sift the uh we take the chasin again and just kind of Very important to always do the M form for the matcha. Voila, gave also a beautiful, beautiful foam. Um, and we take the second glass. This is then it. Voila. Also have a beautiful foam for this matcha so we can put this aside okay and uh, we have the two matchas so this one is this here and uh, the sui is this here and now let's go into the tasting and see how these teas um, are different in terms of taste so let's first take the sui maybe I put this like this so Take the sasui um, from uh, Mr. Nakai. Uh, this one here is grown in Kyoto. So also in color, you can see there's no difference between the two matches. They are very similar. So um, just take this one here from Mr. Nakai. Yabukita, sencha, uh, Yabukita Matcha. What I noticed in the beginning, there's a little bit more astringency. Then there's this typical vegetable or vegetal taste of really summer grass is coming in. This is something which is really typical for um, uh, for uh, Yabokita. Is really this this grassy note which is coming with uh, the with the matcha. Um, there is an astringency in the beginning so with the first sip i have a slight astringency i have this vegetal note coming in and then again uh, at the end is astringency and um now i have the sweetness um really evolving in my palate so there's much more sweetness now coming to it but there's always a little bit of this astringency with this tea So this is what I would say, so astringency, strong vegetal note, and uh, then uh, developing in a smoothness, always a small lingering of, of this astringency in the palate. So something uh, which is very typical for Yabokita. So now let's go for this one here. So this is the Matcha Organic Japan, um, Yabokita Matcha. So let's have a sip here. So it's a very different Yabokita. It's still a Yabokita matcha, but it is different in its notes. As here with this one here, there's much more sweetness in the beginning. So here you have a much, uh, you have a vegetal taste. Here the vegetal taste is also present, but you have on the top, like a top swinging sugary note swinging with this matcha and sugary not coming that uh, sugar is in here but there's a lot a lot of sweetness it seems um it seems that there's much more um, um theanine so a little bit this sweet particles in this tea but now what is interesting is i have it uh, longer and i let it develop uh, its taste in my palate is really that you get 
some kind of freshness and this is something i heard as well from different farmers that the tea from shizuoka is a little bit fresher so there's a, a fresh note adding to the taste of the matcha and here we are really in a uh, vegetal and slight astringent note